What's up everyone? Today we are going to do a plant care guide on the banana plant. So if you guys want to learn all about this plant and how to take care of it, then just keep on watching. Let's talk banana plant. So I have two here to show you guys. It's the same plant, just one has a little bit more red leaves than the other. This one has like lighter green leaves. But I want to get into all the specifics and just kind of show you guys how to take care of these and you know some like fun facts about them. So if you've watched some of my other videos that I've done, I've talked about the banana plant a little bit in those, like the beginner plant pack. Um, so I'll start off with my favorite fun fact since some of you may have heard it before. But the banana plant, although looking tropical, it's kind of a tropical looking plant, it's actually native to the US and grows in like swamps and ditches from New Jersey down to Florida. And it's just out there in the wild growing in the US. So you could find this in your backyard if you live in the US, which is kind of cool. As for the actual shape of the plant, it is pretty unique. So the reason that it's like referenced as the banana plant is because of its tubers. They kind of look like a bunch of bananas, which is the banana plant. And then the leaves have like this heart rounded shape. And they kind of look like a kind of tropical palm looking plant. So banana plants are great for foreground or middle ground depending on how big you let them grow. The leaves will keep growing all the way to the surface of the water and then the leaves will spread out more and actually will grow a lily flower which is why sometimes this is called the banana lily. If you do let these plants grow all the way to the top of your tank just be weary because uh, the leaves grow all the way to the top and grow flowers. It can block light from getting to your other plants and could kill them actually. So that's just one thing I'll say. Uh, the biggest thing about the banana plant is you don't want to completely plant the tubers. You either just want to set it on top of the substrate or bury it no more than a fourth of an inch. If you do leave them to float on top of the substrate like this, you can see they have these white roots here and that's what will anchor them down into the substrate. And if you have a difficult time anchoring them down in your tank, you can use rocks, small rocks to hold them down or a plant weight. Because they are a pretty lightweight plant, they prefer calm water. If you have water that has, or if you have a tank that has moving water or a heavier flow, uh, they might uproot or they may move around and that could prevent them from growing in spot. So to propagate this plant, you actually just prune the leaves and replant, which is a bonus because these plants may not live as long as some of your other plants. So you can just keep getting more and keep propagating. So let's talk about specific care instructions. These are fairly easy plants to care for. They require moderate light. While CO2 is not necessary, they may appreciate an all-in-one fertilizer and maybe a root tab every three to four months. And you just place that under the roots and it'll promote growth. The banana plant can get four to six inches tall and prefers a pH of six to 7.5. They also prefer more tropical temperatures, so from 68 to 82 degrees is when these will thrive. Some more specifics about their appearance. The color of their tubers pop most against a dark substrate, and their leaves will float like lily pads. So when they do get to that point and you want to trim them, you can just trim the leaf off and replant them, and leaves will begin growing from the leaf that you trimmed. So let's go see these guys in a tank and see what you guys think of them. Here's the banana plant in a tank. As I said, I would show you guys. You can see how well those tubers are popping against the black background and black substrate. And I just placed it right on top of the rocks. Thank you. 
All right, let's go put these bad boys back in their home downstairs. So what do you guys think of the banana plant? Is it something you would add to your tank? Do you already have one? If you do have a banana plant, I would love to hear all about your experience with it, if you like it, if you've had difficulties trying to get it to grow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know I always say to look out for our emails. If you're not signed up, make sure you sign up. I'll put a link down below for you guys to sign up for our emails. In the email, you'll find sale items, fun facts, plant tips, new arrivals, plant spotlight, all the fun things, things you don't wanna miss out on. So make sure you sign up. Our emails go out Sunday morning at 11 or around 11. So make sure you're signed up so you can keep up with us. I hope you guys have a phenomenal week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.